Good morning. You're very welcome to this online service for the 21st of February for Kings Mills and Jared's Pass congregations. I'm a different face than usual. My name is Andrew Martin. I'm covering for Jamie as he's been off this week. I'm currently a second year ministry student in Union College and I'm so glad to be with you. I wish it was in person. I enjoyed getting to know some of you at Jamie's ordination last year. I was really excited to be able to be with you in person. But I pray that whether you're a regular part of the congregation or whether you've stumbled across this live stream, that this time together this morning would be beneficial and uplifting in whatever circumstance you're in. And so now as we come to worship, let's hear the words of Isaiah the prophet's encounter with the living holy God as it brings us into worship. It says this, Isaiah chapter 6. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, two he covered his face, his feet, and with, the, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Let us come now and worship this holy God. Let us pray together. Lord God Almighty, we come to you this morning in worship and in adoration. As we've already heard from your word this morning, you are holy, holy, holy. You are the perfection of holiness. There is nothing more beautiful, nothing more perfect, nothing greater than you. Even our greatest words cannot describe you. You're completely other than us. You're not like us, yet you choose to communicate with us. For the whole earth is filled with your glory. Everything we know is from you. Everything we see is from you. We see your fingerprints all over the world that you've created from the grandest mountain that proclaims your might and majesty to the small intricate details on the smallest leaf. Lord, you've given us life, breath and everything. Yet, Lord, we confess with Isaiah that when we see you as you are, the holy, holy, holy God, we see ourselves as who we truly are as well. People of unclean lips. People have seen your glory declared in our world and have neglected to give you the worship that you deserve. With the lips that you have given us to glorify you, we have used to sin against you and those around us with our words. With the hands that you have given us to work for your glory, we have worked for our own glory seeking to build our own kingdoms rather than working for yours. With the minds that you've given us to think great thoughts of you, to know you more, we have used them for our own advancement, placing ourselves first in our own thoughts. Lord, we confess that we've sinned against you, that in our sins we have been enemies of yours, deserving of judgment. Father God, nothing is hidden from you. You see the depths of our hearts. And so now in a moment's silence, we confess to you the personal sins that we have committed against you. But Lord, your word assures us of pardon saying this in Corinthians 1, And you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Let us come now and sing together to this great God. 